over. They keep dropping hot shit, man. He took Just... over. But um, big shout out to uh, Deva, man. I see, I, I actually seen that Flex had finally played the biggest song in New York City for about the past. Three, that nigga Devon is a funny nigga, man. That nigga is bad, cool. I gotta get him. Up. We gonna get him on the show soon. But oh uh, yeah, Flex was playing his shit. I believe a couple nights ago or something like that. Hello, yeah, like I think last night. Yeah, that's last night, was two on nights fire. ago. Excuse me. Yeah, that's dope, man. Cause that's what that's what it's supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? This is shit I was talking about even a few months ago when we heard it. I'm like, how is that not being played in? New York radio rotation. Yeah, it's a couple songs right now. With it's a, a, couple it's a few. Yeah. It's a few uh, uh, independent. I don't say underground no more. I don't think underground really exists in a sense no more. But it's a it's a few independent artists who track should be playing on New York syndicated radio. radio. Yeah, that's a fact. And um, it sh- they shouldn't have to beg. They shouldn't have to. Pester you, they shouldn't have to bother you, man. But you see, the um, I guess this all works into this topic. We we on a music topic. Um, it goes to they a lot of even if it's not labels, you know what I'm saying? Because there's not a lot of labels anymore. It's a lot of like artists that got labels and shit like that. Um, but a lot of people don't got at least a street team or like a um a assistant or something like that. To just send to these shows, you know what I'm saying? To these like little showcases, events that people got going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause yeah, like these people, like Instagrams and shit like that is popping, you know what I'm saying? But it's not to like the hundreds of thousands, you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. thousands, twenty thousands. It might not touch Flex as of yet, but like Flex said, this gotta be one of the most aggressive niggas that I ever met. I ain't know you could type that fast. Like he's just on in my inbox twenty four seven, and a lot of people don't got that that work ethic. You know what I'm saying? But they do have that talent. You know what yeah. I mean? But they don't have that work ethic. But you should on your end, like you should have some assistant or something. Just you on Instagram, you see a flyer, it's a some local showcase. Go. You know what I'm saying? You should have more than one assistant at this point. If, you really want if your, we talking about somebody if, like Flex, yeah, yeah. If you really want your post to the streets of what's happening in New York City, you should have people out here. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying that goes to a whole different conversation with Flex because we know we don't want to call him selfish, mm-hmm. but he's kind of self-absorbed. It's not just Flex. Yeah, yeah, because that's it's just the all person. Of them. Yeah, it's all of them. They still have that old mind state in the new world. The same shit that he's saying, Pastor and Baldwin, like, uh, through it. DM, that's the same shit that artists did, catch, catching them in, outside of the tunnel. Yeah. Every week. It's the same shit. But now you just, you're not dealing with the face to face as if you decide to open that. Even just because of some of like, the incidents that happened in front of Hot 97. Like a lot of people don't can't just go up top. Yeah, you can't just go up there like the way you used to no more. Yeah, people used to go up there. And I'm not saying it should be that way because it's a safety precaution because niggas was wild. Yeah, niggas is crazy. You know, niggas fucked that all up. But I'm just saying if if you run the city and and you the you the you the DJ and you you know what I'm saying you the main the the DJ is supposed to be the one breaking new music. And if you not the main guy and you don't got flex spot, you should be pushing even harder to get these and break these songs and these artists so that people know to tune to your shit for the new heat. Because like as much as people might not like him too much, what's the name used to do that a lot? He still does it somewhat, but he's elevated a little bit. Who that? Uh, Rosenberg. He used to find a lot of new artists on his late night show mm-hmm. and put them on like Pro Era. That's where you heard Joey from. Yeah, you heard a lot of people. Mac Miller, you heard a lot of people uh, from him. Schoolboy Q. Yeah. Kendrick too. J. Yeah. Cole too. Yeah. Like, so he 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 was like the last of the few that was really doing. Um, what's the name still does that a lot? Juicy. Shout out to Juicy. You know what I'm saying? Never, Najewski is never a part of that, but he's not from the old mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This he's, is so, he a new school. So, dude. you know what I'm saying? You never have to say. Certain names. Yeah. You don't have to say Drewski. You see him, bro. If you follow, bro, he, every, damn near every artist that I've been around, oh, I know they've been, you know what I'm saying? 
Or either sat down with them or even spun they, they fucking He fuck with them blood niggas heavy for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> fuck with Tay heavy. He fuck with Quay. Come he on, with son. Dollar. Yeah, bro. He fuck with the guys. Yeah, I see him with a lot of niggas. He fuck with the guys. So I even can never say. Artists. Yes, I can never say that. I see Drewski. I see when he doing this contest and all that. It's not no scam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't say that for who else, bro. Yeah. It's crazy that we didn't have this conversation when we was talking about uh, when Conway said that about Flex. Because it fits into that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that was, we, we spoke on it isolated in a sense of just between them and who he, he, he was speaking out to. Because the only one that responded was Flex. He didn't just say Flex. Yeah. He didn't just say Flex. So, you know, we didn't um, feed into it more. But, yeah, bro, Drewski is the only one, bro. Only one. Honestly. Yeah, because it, that shit is mad weird to me, bro. I, re- I remember growing up. We he grew outside, up, bro. Yeah, we grew up in the era where we heard a lot of new artists on the radio. Every fucking Monday. Everywhere, even on TV shows like 106 and Park and shit like yes. that. You bumped into artists that you was like, oh, shit, Sky Zoo is on Freestyle Friday. Who is this? He's dope. Let me listen to his music. Oh, he from up the block? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. Um, so yeah, um, that shit is weird, but yeah, shout out to Devo, you know what I mean? And shout out to, I be saying it a lot behind the scenes, but shout out to New York, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we just got to keep the pace going, because I think we getting back to like controlling music again, but we just got to keep the pace going, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I fuck with it, man. Like you said, they need to get a lot of these independent artists on the radio right now right now right now like for real because like right now yeah they working for? hard bro and it's not like niggas is young a lot you're not gonna find a lot of 18 19 20 year olds either you know what i'm saying you're gonna shout find out, some shout out to 26 dudes. a y'all who just dropped his album um i forget the drench uh but debut album yeah I ain't get to tune in yet. Mark, Mark, Rock Marciano should drop too. BSF dropped the Long Live DJ Shay shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, J.I.D. dropped? Yeah, it's a lot. I need of, to listen to his shit. I heard oh, yeah, shit J.I.D. Fire. dropped it a minute ago. I heard his shit, shit fire. Fire. But it's a lot of New York shit going on, man. Yeah. And it deserves attention. That's all I'm saying, man. Because if, if, if I was in that space, I wouldn't be put... I, I really wouldn't be playing none of the other... Uh, states or, or, or cities music predominantly only because outside of new york you're hearing that predominantly we're not being played predominantly no more so I watch, outside of new york so even I, in the tri-state area so i watch you watch that show on um on youtube uh full size run no you ever bumped into it nah uh trinidad james and the two white dudes is about sneakers the show is about sneakers, you know what I'm saying? So the artists come on and they talk about sneakers and shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, So Lloyd Banks was like the latest one on there because of his latest album release. So he was on there and he was talking to um, Trinidad James and he said, I got to thank you for, um, I forgot which mixtape he said it was that he dropped, right? But he was like- Cold Corner or something? One of them shits, like, I think a little after that. It was around the time that Trinidad James said what he said about New York on stage. Remember when he said that shit? So he told him he got to thank him for that because he was making music, like snap music. Banks was recorded. He had, like, a whole album of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I heard that. Because he Banks wanted to give his story more than once. Yeah, so he, and so Trinidad James got to tell, like, his side. He was like, yeah, like, I go to the West Coast and all I hear is West Coast artists. I'm from Atlanta. I hear this shit every day. Yeah. I come to New York and I'm hearing West Coast and down South artists. That was my thing of it. That's what he was explaining to Banks. Like He was like, that's all I was trying to say, but I know how the New York crowd is. They gonna take what they heard and be like, nigga, who you talking? <laughs> so I ate that. Trinidad James said it. He said, "Yo, I ate that, but I, yeah, cause I, I you, appreciate you telling me that." You're speaking on politics that you don't really know about. It's yeah. not our fault. It's not the artist's fault. It's not. It's, it's not politics. even a consumer's yeah, like fault, man. It's the politics. Yeah. Them labels walking in. Throw you that got money. a West Coast nigga running Hot 97. 
like that's just what you should just know. Like basically, like Ebro is a West Coast cat. Like no disrespect to him, you know what I'm saying? He rep New York and he rep Hot 97 hard. But he's body. not a New Yorker. But he's not a New Yorker, so it's hard for him to be like, I right, like two six eight. Oh yeah, put him on the radio. Oh, but he gonna come up here and put a red flag on the mic. Like, bro, that shit don't matter. That's their image. It's not gonna affect your image. You know what I'm saying? You hot 97. Y'all niggas been around since the 80s. You let Takashi hop around. Well, they. All around. Well, he never let Takashi, but Juicy let him. But yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hip hop is a weird sport, man. Hip hop is a weird, weird sport, bro. But yeah, man, get get some more independent artists out, man. Get some more independent podcasters like us up on y'all show to give our takes on certain shit. You know what I'm saying? See what up. It's a different game, man. For real, man. That's why I love watching all these podcasts. I talk shit about it because, they, like I said, they fucked the game up. You know what I mean? Because you already got millions of followers and you starting a podcast. But...